This is Sky News with Isabel Webster. Good afternoon. Spanish fishermen complaining about what they say is encroachment into their fishing grounds have protested off Gibraltar today. Around 30 boats watched by both Gibraltarian and Spanish police sailed to a spot where concrete blocks were dropped into the sea to create an artificial reef. The British warship HMS Westminster is due to dock in the British Overseas Territory tomorrow. Well, the reef has been created just off the coast in the Bay of Gibraltar. It's a location whose control by Gibraltar and Britain is disputed by Spain. Well, Sky senior correspondent David Bowden is live on the bay for us this lunchtime. Well, David, uh, you were out on the water earlier. What did you see? Well, as you say, there was a small flotilla, a couple of dozen Spanish fishing boats, very small little boats. It was almost a kind of children's Toy Story type boats, yellow ones, yellow, uh, green ones, red ones, bobbing along. But of course, flanked by very high powered, very sleek Garda Seville Spanish police uh, boats, just to make sure that they didn't get into the wrong waters, into Gibraltarian waters and spark something more. And of course, they were met by a great number of local police marine boats out there as well. So you had this scene of smallish boats bobbing around, surrounded by high-powered, in some case, armed uh, men in other boats. It was all over in about an hour or so, but it meant that the people of Gibraltar got to see what they were up against in the Spanish, in this recent spat, which has been going on for the best part of a month now, and the locals here really have had enough of it. It matters because this is my country. I feel 100% British. And why don't I have to protest? They're saying that's a protest on their side to come in our water, take our fish, kill our marine life, and on top hassle us. In England, this is, uh, I don't ask my next door neighbor if I can put a rose in my garden. And this is the same issue. Very simple, but it's, it's a bigger issue. This constant bullying, this constant manipulation, is a daily, daily thing. All of this then, David, is set to the backdrop out of, as they say, the bullying, the queues at the border, which we've seen repeated again this weekend, and of course the fact that the Royal Navy warship arrives tomorrow. Yeah, about 9 o'clock local time, that's 8 o'clock your time. We're expecting HMS Westminster to pull up alongside here in Gibraltar. I have to remind everybody, of course, this part of a routine training exercise that's been planned for months and not a reaction to the current diplomatic fallout between Spain, Gibraltar and the UK. But clearly, it is a very symbolic message, that steely grey hulk coming into the rock tomorrow and reinforcing the link between Gibraltar and the UK at home. As for the border, I have to tell you, we came in very late last night and we sailed straight through. There wasn't a minute of delay, but of course that's what Gibraltarians are complaining about. There's no way of knowing whether you're going to be sat there for two, three, four hours in a car or whether you're going to go straight through because they say that the Spanish are simply turning on and turning off the checks at will. And that, of course, hampers plans and makes them feel like they're being bullied by their big brother next door. Okay, David, thank you very much.